This morning we're going to be discussing the proper sampling procedure for baled hay. So the first thing we need to do is define lots. So a lot is comprised of anything that is of a similar hay quality. So uh, today we've got fourth cutting alfalfa. If you've got different cuttings or different species like alfalfa versus grass, you'll want to keep all of that separate and sample them on their own. Um, so you'll need a hay probe, uh, which looks like this, as well as a drill. Uh, hay probes can be purchased from the lab or if you live near Kearney, Nebraska, you can always stop by and borrow one. Um, and then we'll need to take a number of different subsamples of this hay to combine into one sample. So that's going to look a little bit different um, depending on how many bales you have. But for today we'll probably take about, oh I'd say 15 to 20 different samples um, from different bales. Okay, so we've got our hay probes and we need to sample the outside of these bales. So we'll just insert the hay probe about 12 to 18 inches. And the sample will collect in the probe and then go down into the bucket and then we can just keep sampling. We'll repeat that about 15 to 20 times. Okay, so now our sample is in the barrel of this probe. So we'll just simply take the lid off and then pour our sample into the bag. So these can be obtained from the lab and make sure that you fill out all of your information, um, your name, uh, address, phone number, email address, uh, type of hay, and then a sample ID that makes sense to you. Um, if you don't have a feed bag, you can just use a gallon size Ziploc bag. All right, now we have our sample and we're ready to head to the lab. Samples can be dropped off at the lab Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or placed in after-hours drop boxes. Samples can also be shipped to us at 4007 Cherry Avenue, Kearney, Nebraska, 68847. For more information on feed and forage analysis, visit www.wardlab.com.